started very, very lively indeed. Arnold, that roller's target man. Here's Slater supporting him. Chip to the back post. Vidmar's there. Got the header in, and that's a goal. Aurelio Vidmar has opened the scoring. What a run he has had in front of goal when he's captain of the Socceroos. And we were talking about an early goal coming. But even the most optimistic supporter couldn't have wished for a better start than this. A great ball from Slater. Vidmar placed the header with some real power. And that's a fine start. Certainly is. Robbie Slater, magnificent ball to the far post. And Aurelio Vidmar attacks the ball very, very well. You see the ball floated magnificently into the far post. Vidmar attacking it and heading it across the goal. An absolutely magnificent execution. And it's a great result for the Aussies early on in the game. Clearly onside this time and the keeper had no chance at all. Trying to win the ball back, but it's a good forward run through Urban. Hungary, great move through the centre. They've opened Australia up here. Slater's recovering. Great goal. And it's Klaus who has equalised for Hungary. Australia caught with numbers forward. Slater was trying to recover, to recover rather, and John Fylan couldn't get to the whole ball. He just got a touch on with his left hand, but the power from Klaus was certainly too much for the goalkeeper. How unfortunate, Paul! It all started from uh, the Australians having possession, from you know nearly scoring a goal at the other end, um, and then a corner kick and a mistake. Has done a quite a good job. Hovart, the fact that he hasn't really had to do too much in the game means that everything's been quite organised in the defence. It was good to see Stan Lazaridis in the second half coming a lot, lot more forward. And you got uh, Robbie Slater again having a, a very strong game in the middle of the midfield. So I think overall Terry Venables will be extremely happy with the way the Australian team's committed himself. And regardless of what the result is, I'm sure it's important for him. The most important thing is that you've got players playing. What a magnificent goal. A winner, perhaps, for Australia, as we're talking about the result being a good one. And once again, Australia have come up with a late, late strike. The loose ball fell to Kevin Musket, who made no mistake from the edge of the... Hungarian penalty area, what a strike that is. I was saying earlier on, Paul, from a defender, what a magnificent strike. The keeper had absolutely no chance. Again, a few laps, they were lapsing concentration by the Hungarian defence there. It's certainly going to be the winner. And I think the Australian players really deserve this result. They've played quite well, especially in the second half. They've created the majority of the opportunities they've had most of the possession and what a fitting way to I believe wrap up this particular game well there's just over a minute on the clock now and Kevin Musket with his first goal for his country the timing of the goal couldn't be any better and certainly the timing on the volley was sweet as well Musket who plays for Crystal Palace in the English First Division. We don't have too many players on international duty Crystal Palace but I've got one in Kevin Musket and what a story that is for him to go back and tell the rest of the team when he travels back to England tomorrow. Australia looking for another here. Later, hang it off to Musket, he's got past his man, just fends him off, a back post, a Vidmar's in here, a third for Australia, and it's that man again, Aurelio Vidmar, who can do no wrong in front of goal as captain of Australia. 
and Hungary with this reputation for capitulating at the end of a match have done it again what a magnificent ball ball right to the far post really a mid -mar. timing his run to perfection and Kevin Musket what a dream game he's had coming on in the second half and it's an amazing last 60 seconds here at the net stadion especially for Kevin Musket who scored an absolute cracker and he made one as well